They say revenge is a dish best served cold. I was about to take my shit right out the motherfucking freezer. Bitch thought she was gonna get by without me. She'd be thinking again real soon. Might as well call me a broken down trick. Using me for my money and telling me a quarter mill ain't good enough? A quarter mill's always good. It was good then, and it's sure in hell still good now. It was good then, and it's sure in hell still good now. It was good then, and it's sure in hell still good now. Still good now. Still good now. Shut up. I give you whatever Shut you up. Want. All I need is a ride. Get in. Stop the car, stop the car. Back up. Slowly. Right here, right here, right here. Tell me another joke. Yeah. Hey, move. We spotted the white boy at the garage. We 
Responsibility, redemption. In order to be truly redeemed, a man has to own up to his responsibilities. Tuesday, moving day. It didn't have to come to this, but the bitch left me no choice. Three months of planning had finally paid off. Unfortunately, a little too well. You've been returning my calls. I went out of town, man. I didn't tell you? No, you didn't tell me. Aren't you going to open the door? Not if you continue in that tone of voice, I won't. Open the fucking door! Try asking nicely. Please. <laughs> so what seems to be the problem? You know damn well what the problem is. You did this to me. I did this to you? I didn't put a gun in your head to make you sniff no coke. You didn't give me coke, you fucker. You gave me heroin. That's right. I did. So what do you want me to do? Baby, I just need a fix. Mm -hmm. Look, just for the day, OK? You know, just to get me through, please. Right. Just one, OK? Yeah. But you know us small timers. You know, we got to watch every penny. And, um, don't look like you have a penny. You're enjoying this, aren't you? <laughs> she was right. I did do this to her. And I was enjoying it. Funny shit was, I still loved her. Maybe more now than ever. I finally felt needed, appreciated. Come on back, anytime. Thing is, Juanita got more strung out than I ever could have imagined. Bitch started shooting right away. Most girls are scared of needles. Keeps them from getting out of control. Not Juanita. Turns out she was diabetic. For her, sticking herself was like brushing her teeth or going to the bathroom. Don't take a rocket scientist to figure out that eventually, something had to give. Yeah. I, I need help. If there's a clinic up north, it's the best in the state, and I want to check myself in. It's expensive, 10000 a month. And I know it's a lot of money, but I need this. You have to help me. If you don't, I'll go to the police. One thing bitches don't realize is that they should never joke about the police. Breaking the man's heart is one thing, but fucking with his livelihood, something else. I knew you'd see things my way. I'll meet you at eight. <coughs> I wonder how she felt inside after hanging up that phone. What was on her mind? Like the sunset that day. Do you think it occurred to her for a split second that it was the last one she was ever gonna see? You know that thing Yogi Berry used to say, deja vu all over again? Might as well have been talking about me. Here I am trying to resolve things with Juanita, and it's just like the mess I got myself into the day I left the East Coast. That shit with Edna. I mean it, Ping. I need money. For what? So you can shoot in your fucking veins? I told you, I, I'm clean now. Six weeks. I've heard that one before. No, you think I, I like asking you for money? There's no food in the house. The kids need clothes for school. <laughs> you know, you oldest to me. <laughs> I'll go to the police. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. 
Don't do that. I'll be right over. Edna. Yeah, I used to run around with it back in the day. Badass bitch for that junk got hold of her. Somehow she got it in the head that I was the father of a boy and conveniently waited till now, ten motherfucking years after the fact, to break the news to me. Maybe I was, maybe I wasn't. Cause she wasn't gonna do her kids any good if she was still using, and I sure in hell wasn't gonna do them any good rotting in the jail cell. So I decided to give her a test, see if she was on a level. Well, aren't you gonna let me in? I'm glad you came. So am I. Sure, we can uh, work this thing out. Got something to drink? Yeah, go ahead, help yourself. You ain't got nothing to eat, this motherfucker. You mind? I don't want to eat you out of the house at home. Damn. It is hot in the motherfucker. Leave it. I need help. Oh, baby, you ain't got to be like that with me. Come on. Come on. Ah! What the fuck is wrong with you threatening to call the police on me, bitch? You got your motherfucking mind. Leave him alone. Fuck out of here, little nigga. Leave him alone. Look at you. That's what you want the money for? You better enjoy it. It's the last thing you're getting from me, boo. <laughs> Fuck out my way. Didn't stick around long enough to see if she ever did pass that test. What I did was hit the airport. Got me a one way to LA. All over again. I drifted around for a while, ducking the law. Worked my way east from small town to small town. Something was calling me back. It's my home. Plus, it's hard living on the run, especially when you realize it's your fault. Getting yourself stuck in the same sort of fucked up situation you ran away from 10 years ago. The Lord takes care of fools and babies, and I've never been either one. So I'm back, and it's time for King to put things right. Face up to my responsibilities, to Moon, to Edna's boy, to myself. Responsibility, redemption. In order to be truly redeemed, a man has to- Get out the car! Get out the motherfucking car, white boy! Get out the motherfucking car! Get out the car now! Okay. Do it now! Hi. Get out the car! Please don't kill me! Motherfucker, I'm gonna count to three. One, two, three. Don't come near me! I'll kill you, I mean it! He 
you. If you were worried about me going to the police, I didn't, I swear. I don't care about that. Now put the gun down. I ain't gonna hurt you. What's your name? Paul. Fuck is a white boy like you doing uptown in a dead man's car, Paul? He gave it to me. Before he died. He give you that ring, too? Take your ass home, man. You don't belong here. I need to know why. Why what? Why did you kill him? He deserved it. Believe me. I know. Why did you kill him? Killed my mother. Edna. The man that you killed was your father. You see, he has these tapes, and I've been listening to him. See, when he was dying, he asked me to bury him. He... he begged for a decent burial. Hollowed ground. Oh. Man. Hurry. Come on. You gotta get out of here. Take the car. There's a quarter million dollars in the truck. It's yours. You're free. Go! Get out of here! Go! Go. Amazing story. Truly amazing. But I can't print it. Why not? This is a newspaper, not a fiction magazine. But it's true, all of it. The stabbing, the hospital. I had a gun pointed at my head. You're a great writer. If it's a job you want, you're hired. But that... <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't believe a word of it. Tell you the truth, I probably wouldn't have believed it either. After all, I did live a pretty extraordinary life. It's too bad it had to catch up with me when it did. Before I had a chance to turn the corner. And write the final chapter. It's a funny thing when you think about it. How everything is interconnected like a game of dominoes. How one man's life can have such a powerful effect, however inadvertent, on the lives of so many others. how it can transform itself into a gift that keeps on giving. Like I said, a 
Guess my life was pretty extraordinary. In the end, I suppose it all comes back to the whole karma thing. Who knows? If it's half as real as the Hindus say, I may just get a second chance after all. I wonder, what lies ahead for me on the other side? It's all good when the check drops, but it's back to the hood. 
take stop. Come on. Never left the wink. That's the word by coming back. Oh, yeah, niggas gon' feel it when you coming back. And I'll be there doing my thing. Yeah. Fucking with cruddy nigga deep up in the game. That's the round. Okay. This is between me and you. It's like it ass. My friends, you know what I do. Listen, don't play for me that way. Second, I can end it all today. Fuck, Fuck what, what you say. say. Play fair with men. Act like one. Talk like a bitch or get smacked like one. Got rabbit in them. Get jacked like one. Make the call. Hit me back like 